Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So today I've got a little bit of different unboxing. It's not unboxing of a particular product, but a few products. So I recently bought a bunch of stuff from GearBest. This is like a Chinese company and they sell stuff for really, really cheap. For example, this is the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. I bought this for $65 off eBay and they're selling it for $30. So if you want to grab one of these, go definitely grab it from GearBest. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and yeah, it's really, really cheap and they sell some really, really pretty awesome stuff as well. And so during Boxing Day, they had a sale and so I kind of splurged a little bit and finally all the stuff is here. So let's get straight into it. Now I already unboxed this box as you can see. Um, and I did that just to make sure that everything is there um, so that I'm not missing anything. And so this came today um, of the filming of this video. And so yeah, really excited to see what I have inside. So let's do it. All right, so quite a few stuff in here. Um, I'm not gonna be unboxing anything in, in particularly, but I'm just gonna show you what, what's in here and what's to come. <clears throat> so these are the Nuzi um, kind of nano SIM adapters. And obviously I bought three, they were quite cheap. I bought this at 48 cents Australian. So everything, every price that I list, I'm just gonna mention it in Australian dollars. So 48 cents, so I bought three. So that comes to $1.44, pretty cheap. Next we have, um, this, this is the DMRX, um, it's a nano HD explosion proof film for the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. Now it looks awfully similar to the one I got off eBay, but they're claiming that it looks a little bit better and uh, it has a bit more protection. So um, I'll definitely be doing um, an unboxing or oh, an application of this um, because as you can see, mine's getting pretty old. So that's that. This one is the next one, it's by uh, Remax, um, and it's pretty much it's a two-in-one micro USB and uh, lightning charger. As you can see, you've got the iPhone, you've got the Samsung here, and these two are clipped through magnetic force, and it's a flat cable. So I bought this one for $6.54. Next, I uh, we'll might as well go with these ones. These are little cable winders by Vention. As you can see, it's the Vention um, XQ. And I have two, now they look the same, but one is black and one is white. I hope one is black and one is white. I hope one is black. So this is white. Yeah, this is black. So one is, this one's black, this one's white. And yeah, it's pretty much a cable winder. So um, I bought these for $3.86 each. Uh, maybe use it for some earphones or just general cables. Um, can be quite handy. Now, funny enough, they do sell something like this um, on Kickstarter, but I think this is obviously a lot cheaper than what's being proposed on Kickstarter. These, this is a fidget cube. Now, funny enough, this is also on Kickstarter, um, but you can also get this, um, which is pretty much the same. Now, the quality might be different. It might not be the same as you know what, what you expect, but I got this for $6.54, so um, we'll see whether this kind of lives up to the standard and whether it's just as good. Because if this is just as good, why would you pay like $15? Actually more than that, it's like 20 something dollars where you can get it for six bucks off GearBest. Here we have a 150 millimeter or a six inch LCD um, caliper. And pretty much this just measures um, the, the thickness of any kind of thing that you have. So, and it gives a digital readout and the exact measurement. Now, how accurate this is, I'm not sure. You can choose between millimeters and inches, um, but yeah, I think it'd be really handy to have, um, especially when I do some unboxing videos and stuff like that. I bought this for $8.26, so pretty cheap. This is some more cables, pretty much just the standard USB to micro USB lightning adapter. This cable cost me $3.86, so, Pretty cheap for a cable. So if you're looking to buy cables, don't go to like your retailers because they're just so expensive. Like you're gonna go to Officeworks and then for the same thing, you're gonna be paying like 20, 30 bucks for it. Where well, you can just get it from GearBest um, with, which has free shipping on most of their items and it's really cheap, $3.86. Get it from here, just as good. Here I have two Xiaomi, as you can see by the logo, Mi. This one doesn't have it for some reason. It's pretty much um, a portable USB light that can be flexed, as you can see. There's a strip of LED lights here, and then so essentially you just put it into your power bank. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much like good competitor to the SoShine USB LEDs, if you've seen me do an unboxing and use of that. Um, so we'll see how well this um, compares to that, because 
I'm afraid that maybe it might not be as bright, but we'll, we'll have a look. So I bought two. These ones cost $4 each, so it's not bad. The So Shines are about $2, but they're very small. At least this kind of looks a bit more like an actual refined product. So you also have a delivery list um, blocking my address um, of all things. And so yeah, if you are not satisfied with the order, please contact us and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty much a replacement wristband uh, for my Xiaomi Mi Band 2, but it is metal. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a carbon, kind of a black band. Now I could have gone with the silver, but I figured that, you know, the black was probably a better option, especially since the device itself is back. So actually really excited to do this, see whether it's actually suitable, whether it will actually fit my wrist. Maybe it might not. So if it doesn't, then that could be a little bit awkward. We'll see. I got this one for $10.60, so it's not bad for a metal band. This is pretty interesting. This pretty much, is OTG for Android and iPhone. So as you can see, it's compatible with your iPod, iPhone, iPad. So pretty much lightning. And on this side, yes, you think it's just a USB, but at the end of it, it pops out a little micro USB slot. Now you add, um, you have an SD card slot and then a micro SD card slot as well. So it's pretty interesting. I'll see how effective this works. Um, because I know you can get some, some lightning drives, but they're very expensive. The OTG for Android is not that bad. Um, as you've seen in my previous videos, I've done the SanDisk OTGs and they're quite affordable, but some of the iPhone ones are pretty expensive. So we'll see how well this works and you can have it in like an SD card or a micro SD card. The thing itself doesn't really store anything. It's whatever you put in the micro SD and the um, SD card. And I got this for $10.60. So it's not bad as well. Almost there. These, um, I might as well just do an, um, do an unpacking of this. These are neodymium magnets. Now I've always wanted some neodymium magnets. I have pretty much no real use for them, but just to have some really powerful magnets really. Oh, they're pretty strong. Oh, these are really neodymium magnets. Let's see, now that Wow, that's pretty strong. I didn't expect them to be so strong. I mean, neodymium magnets are strong, but yeah, wow, okay. So I got these two magnets for $2.19. Pretty cheap for some pretty good magnets. It's not that bad. Um, I won't be doing a video on this, obviously, but yeah, it may come in handy. You know, I've always wanted high powered magnets for whatever reason, so that's pretty cool. So this is a USB uh, fluorescent tube. So there's a tube that runs along here. I'll do a separate video um, of this, so that's why I'm not unboxing it now. And then it just uses, um, it's powered through a USB cable. So pretty much any USB port that you have. And there's a touch button for that. And then this cost me $6.83 um, for this. So it's pretty cheap. So if you wanted some decorative light and anything, this is a pretty good product. But I'll definitely show a video of that um, probably on my setup. Okay, second last thing. So as you can see, they've got some pretty good foam padding. Second last one. This is um, ob obviously, as you can see, the Millennium Falcon, but I'll do a sneak unboxing. As you can see here, this is a base and it has little LED lights in it. And pretty much there's a Perspex Millennium Falcon. And when you stick it in, it pretty much glows. It, it, it's pretty cool. So I'll look out for this video. This is actually a pretty cool product. Um, to add to my Star Wars collection. This was one of the more, more expensive products. Yeah, this one cost me $17.66. So that's kind of the price you pay for being a Star Wars fan. Now, this is the last one. We come to these five boxes. So let me put this box aside and we get these. Now, I didn't expect it to, to look so nice, to be honest. This one doesn't look nice at all. These are some pretty interesting headphones. The, the brand is called KZ. Now I'm not exactly sure what it stands for. KZ Acoustics, um, as you can see in this one. But these guys sell pretty cheap and pretty good looking um, earphones, in-ears. So they have different types um, of models. So this is obviously the ED12, the KZT, the KZ3 and the ATE, and then this one is, I think this is the KZS2, so that's the KZS3. Now, I tried to look online, you know, and see what's the difference between all these different models, and I couldn't really find, um, like I saw like people comparing these two, I saw people comparing these two, like these two or these two, but nothing that compared 
all five at the same time. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be the guy who compares all five of these, does unboxing of all these so that you guys can make a better informed decision about which one you guys prefer and which one is more suitable for you. Because some may be good for certain types of um, music, some may be good for sports, some may be good for, you know, maybe musicians who are looking for really cheap in-ears. And the average price for all of these is literally like 12 to $10. Literally each one cost me 12 to $10. Now, given that they were on sale, the most expensive one was the KZT. These ones, these ones cost me $16.85. But these all about 10, 11, $12. So these are actually really affordable. They look pretty nice. Like obviously this is the expensive one, but they look pretty nice. They have detachable cables, um, which is a huge plus. Cause if your cables break, you can just buy a new cable. And yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited to, to do an unboxing of this one. So. Definitely look out for this, look out for the review um, that I do. I'll probably maybe just do individual reviews first and then I might do the whole massive comparison video, which could take quite long, um, but definitely look out for it and definitely look out for the reviews of this. Yeah, so that's that. All right, so to recap, we have all the KZ um, acoustic earphones, which I'm really excited to have a listen to. And uh, they could be really bad, but they could be not bad. I mean, $10 is really, hard to beat for that price. And I saw quite a few reviews, they're actually quite good. You have the two Vention um, cable cord winders, you have the Fidget Cube, which will be really interesting to see whether it lives up to the Kickstarter as well as these two. The two Xiaomi um, flexible LED lights, you've got the digital caliper, the Xiaomi Mi Band 2 HD explosion film, the watch band, which I don't think will fit my wrist, but we'll see. The two neodymium magnets, which are pretty cool and pretty cheap for the price. The USB LED light, the USB cable, the iFlash drive, and the Remac cable as well. This is the lightning to USB. And of course the three different nano SIM adapters. So definitely look out for videos of pretty much everything here. Um, I may do just a quick video of this as well. The only video which I probably won't be doing is of the Neo Dinia Magnus because this video is probably good enough for you to see. But yeah, definitely look out for those videos. I'm really excited to really get my hands on these products and really unbox these, especially these ones. Um, I know people out there kind of looking for that. Um, so definitely subscribe if you wanna see those videos. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. It's a little bit longer than um, what I usually have been doing, um, but I just really wanted to show you guys what's coming in the next few months. These are at least, you know, at least six to eight different videos, um, at least probably 10, 10 plus videos here. Um, so definitely look out for those, get subscribed. So hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments and I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Links to all of these products will be down below and in the future I'll be adding the links to the videos of the of, that I actually do on these products. So subscribe to see these videos and more in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.